Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the DCS Cleaning Tech Orientation. My name is Derek Foster, and I'm the President and CEO of Daigle Cleaning Systems. Uh, business partners with my mom, Michelle, who is also serving as our Vice President currently. Uh, and I want to welcome you all to the DCS family, and we're excited to see all the success and great things that you will accomplish here with us. So let's get to it. So <clears throat> the first thing that I want to talk about um, is our contents, the general overview of what we're going to go over today. Uh, it's very basic uh, information, but it's all the small details and information that you need to be successful here at DCS. We want to see you succeed. We want to see you do well. If you follow the systems and processes um, and the advice that I give you in this orientation, you'll have nothing but success here. So the first thing we'll talk about is the company history. We'll, we'll give a little background on it. Uh, why we exist, what we do, where we are now, and where we're planning on going in the future. We'll talk about the policies and procedures, we'll talk about uh, measurements for success, uh, how to be successful, how to meet your goals, so on and so forth. We'll talk about the 90 day probationary period, our cleaning products, what they're used for, which will follow along with our on the job training program as well. So you're going to complete this uh, orientation and then you know, you'll be paired up with your supervisor to complete your on the job training, which you'll go over all the products, equipment, everything that we do in the field. So um, if some of this stuff is a little bit confusing right now, uh, if you're new to the cleaning industry, uh, just bear with us. Trust me, we'll get you up to speed and we'll make sure that you know what you're doing before you're on your own. So and then we'll talk about the new hire paperwork. We'll get that out of the way. Um, there's a, quite a bit of paperwork. Uh, we'll get through it. We have everything marked off for you to fill out. So it should go pretty smooth. A couple things you will need. I will need your license, copy of your license, copy of your social security card, as well as a voided check. We only have direct deposit, which we'll get into, uh, onto a pay card or into a bank account. So we'll either need a voided check or a pay card form filled out. So moving on to the next slide. Um, what, what types of cleaning do we do? What do we do here at DCS? Well, here at DCS, we have a residential maid service. We do apartment turnovers, real estate turnovers. Uh, we do construction cleaning, cleaning up after uh, construction jobs are complete. We do window cleaning, pressure washing. Uh, we do VCT floors, carpet shampooing, you name it, in commercial building and in, uh, janitorial services as well. So you name it, we do it. We cover the entire industry, which means for you, a lot of opportunity for learning. The more that you learn and the more facets of our business that you know how to complete the tasks in, the more valuable you are to us. So. Do yourself a favor, learn as much as you can while you're here, follow directions, listen to the people who are telling you what to do. I've been in this business now for over six years um, and I can tell you that I'm still learning every day. So whether you're brand new, whether you've been in the industry for 20 years, there's always a new product, a new piece of equipment, uh, a better way of doing things that will make life easier. So uh, you know, do us a favor and just make sure that uh, you listen and follow the advice and the direction that that's given. So DCS operates every day with the intention of relieving busy families and business owners of their tasks to maintain a healthy environment so they can spend their free time with their family uh, and friends. So that's why we operate. You know, we're in the day to day of things, you know, sometimes we get so focused on what we're doing. Oh, um, you know, we're cleaning. I got to do A, B and C. But realistically, what does this all represent? What is our purpose? Why are we doing this? This is our mission. Uh, we're here to do just that. We're here to help people, keep people healthy, um, keep them safe, increase, or I'm sorry, decrease the amount of absences in the workplace. Um, all of that is very important. And that's why you're here, is because uh, somebody is paying for you to be here. So. Customer is always number one. We need to take care of them and we need to fulfill our mission to the best of our abilities. Our vision, where we're going. Uh, we see ourselves down the road as a full service commercial residential cleaning company with 1,500 employees operating across the country. Uh, we've invested heavily in the development of our leadership team as well as our employees. Um, those that have demonstrated their values align with those of the companies. So what this means is we're going to be big. We're, we've grown, we've doubled in size each of our first six years of business. Those are, some of you will be a part of that. Um, others of you have already been a part of that. So 
with that being said, we've come a long way in six years, and we're going to go uh, quite a bit further in the next six. So um, fasten your seatbelts. We're going to grow very quickly. Um, got a lot of good things coming up for the next couple of years, a lot of big projects coming up. So you're on the part of a winning team. Um, you know, you're here in this room because you made it through the interview, and I think that you have the potential and that you are a winner and that you're a potential leader. So we do promote from within, we do invest in our people, and we plan to grow this company as large as we can. The only way to do that is by bringing people in whose values align with those of the companies. That's why you're here. So with that being said, our company values, um, there's quite a few of them. I'll let you read those you know, as I talk here, but we created these as a leadership team beginning of this year, 2017, and it really holds true and we've made a lot of great strides because of these values. Every single decision that you make here at DCS, as long as it's in line with these values, you can never make a decision that's gonna be detrimental to either your job or the company. However, it's when we start making decisions that necessarily don't, that don't necessarily align with the values that are here, that's when we run into trouble, that's where we run into disciplinary issues. So keep that in mind. When you're faced with something, you have to make a decision, look at the values, and that's what you base it off of. Company structure. Why do we have it? Um, it's not because anybody's better than anybody else. I still go out in the field and clean from time to time. My mom does as well. I will never ask you to do a job that I haven't done personally. But we have to have a company structure here as we grow. Um, it's in your cookbook. Take the time to look at it. You know, we have our cleaning techs, supervisors, managers, executive team. The reason we have that is to control the, the flow of information throughout the company. If you were getting information from four different people and those four different people said, this, said something completely different, you have no idea what to do. But if one person is giving you clear, distinct direction, you're gonna know exactly what to do and what's expected of you. So the reason why we have this is to control that flow of information and make sure that everybody is getting the correct information. So again, that's why we have it, take a look at it, and it also shows you the path of progression that you can take within DCS. You may be starting here as a clean tech. Next time you sit down for an orientation, it might be for a supervisor role, and then for a manager role. The sky's the limit, and it's up to you to, to see, uh, it's up to you to achieve what you want. Policies and procedures. So if you haven't gotten it already, everybody will be sent an email with a welcome letter that has our employee handbook attached to it, um, as well as some other information that we need you to take a look at. So if you haven't gotten that yet, let us know. We'll make sure we get it to you. Um, make sure you take a look at it. Our employee handbook has all of our rules and regulations. Uh, very good document, very well written. It was actually constructed by the Department of Labor, so it is 100% accurate. Uh, just make sure you take a look at it so we're all clear as far as what the rules and regulations are, okay? You've been given a cookbook. It's probably right in front of you right now. This book has all of the systems and processes in, that we utilize here on a day-to-day -day basis. You need to keep this book with you each day, whether it's in your vehicle or on a job site. Um, and if you have any questions that you know, need to be answered, you can find them in that book. For some reason you either lose the book or you don't bring it with you um, there's going to be some consequences for that so uh, be sure that you have that book with you and make sure that you keep it with you at all times so success and failure what will make you successful here well meeting the goals that we set every account that we have every job that we have they all have time goals to be successful we need to meet our goals the goals are a result of our expectations, the expectation of cleanliness, quality and efficiency. So if you meet our expectations, if we meet our clients' expectations, you're gonna have success here. We measure this, these by, let's say, hours. Um, the amount of hours that you spend on a job, um, time is money, the amount of hours that you spend on a job is very crucial to the success of the company and your growth and development. So we wanna make sure that that measurement, that time measurement, we're within that and we're meeting our goal. Follow directives. If somebody gives you a directive, whether it's somebody in a supervisory position or it's somebody who's been here you know, for five years and might still be a cleaning tech, 
Um, make sure you listen to them. Take that information in, follow the directives they give you. Um, if you have any questions on that or what you're being told, then feel free to ask your supervisor. Um, but most of the time, if they've been with us for that long, they have a good idea as to what we're looking for. Consequences, there are consequences. We don't like to do it. However, if you refuse to follow the rules and regulations of what we're trying to do, if you refuse to meet the time goals and what you know we're trying to accomplish in the field, if our clients aren't happy, then we have no choice sometimes. And, and don't get me wrong, we'll give you a verbal warning, give you a written warning, sometimes a couple verbal warnings, but if it's a continual pattern and we all make mistakes, I know that, I make them every day, but we need to learn from them. So if we're seeing the same mistake over and over again, we're gonna take corrective action. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put consequences in place. There are consequences in place, up to and including termination. And I don't say that to scare anybody. However, if there's somebody on your team that is not living up to what they need to and not meeting the expectations, the goals that we've set, it's not fair to the other people in the company that are doing what they're supposed to do. It's making them work harder. So we try to eliminate those problems so that way everybody is working together to be successful. So, very simple. Be on time, follow our processes, work smart, be safe, meet your goals each day, no no calls and no shows, no call-ins. A no show is a cause for immediate termination, by the way, so we don't wanna see that happen. Please, make sure if an emergency comes up, you're contacting your supervisor, and you bring in either a doctor's note or some sort of note to back up you know, exactly what happened. Um, notify us of damage to client's property. Um, contact your supervisor with any questions during training. Take your inventory of supplies at accounts once per week. It's very important. Make sure we're keeping the basement clean for those of you that are at the office each day. Put things back where you find them. Make sure the basement's organized. Put garbage in the garbage can and make sure we're not putting gloves, uh, razors, anything or anything that spray bottles, uh, not anything in the dirty laundry bins that shouldn't be there. They go to the laundromat and they don't need to be caught up in the washer and dryer. So make sure we're taking care of that. And lastly, take care of the equipment and supplies. They cost money. It equals our bottom line. If we want this company to grow, the only way to do that is by protecting our assets. And that's our equipment. Your first 90 days, you are, as I mentioned to you during the interview, most likely, you're on a probationary period. Now, what that means is we understand that you're learning. You're learning our systems, processes, the general flow of how everything goes here. Um, at the end of those 90 days, or during those 90 days, we're gonna be evaluating you to see how well um, you're doing, how quickly you're learning the information. And at the end of those 90 days, we're gonna sit down with you, give you some feedback, tell you what you're doing well, what you could be doing better. Um, and we'll go from there. You know, you, yes, you do have the opportunity for compensation to be evaluated at that time. Um, however, your 90 days is not an end all be all. Once you reach those 90 days, if you're doing a great job, you better continue that great job um, because raises are given and they can also be taken back away. Um, I, we've had experiences in the past where folks hit their 90 day mark and all of a sudden they don't have to follow the processes. They're calling in, they're not doing what they're supposed to. No good. So your 90 days is just to help you develop the habits that you need to get into for the rest of your career here. It's a starting point. So once you hit those 90 days, you're actually starting your career. Um, you know everything that you need to do and it's time to get to work and it's time to push yourself and get better. Dress code, real quick. No ripped or torn jeans, no open-toed shoes, so no sandals, no slippers. Uh, make sure you're wearing a belt. Um, your pants aren't sagging. Make sure your shirt is tucked in if it's a button-down. Make sure you're wearing a company shirt. If it's a polo, it can be outside, um, outside the, the pants. Um, you need permission to wear shorts on a job site. We go to a lot of construction sites where there are no shorts allowed. So you need permission before you do that. So pants, not ripped. Belt, closed-toed shoes or boots, um, hair done neatly, um, and just overall cleanly appearance. Um, you are 
our image and what the customer sees every day. So it's very important that we're making the best impression possible that we can on them. That's gonna play into us meeting our clients' expectations um, and you know them being satisfied. Remember, they're paying for you to be there. So it's important that we look professional. <laughs> Hour and time submission, real quick. Um, we're gonna go over it, we're gonna get you set up with it, but we have an online cloud-based time tracking system. It's fantastic. It's called Chronotech. You can download the app on either your Android or, or Apple phone, or any smartphone, really. Um, you're gonna sign in. We've already sent you an email with a link that you're gonna need to click on. Um, once you download the app, go to your email, click on that link, and it's gonna prompt you to create a password. Once you do that, your username to log into the app is your email and your password is whatever you make it. So you're gonna log into the app, you're all set to go, you'll be able to see your dashboard. You click go to clock in, select the job site that you're on, and you're good. It'll tell you that you've clocked in. To clock out, just hit the stop button. It's that simple. So make sure you're clocking in when you're supposed to be. Make sure you're clocking out when you're supposed to be. We do have ways to tell where you're clocking in and out from, uh, including the vehicles. All of our vehicles have tracking devices in them. It's not a secret. You're all aware of it. You'll see them on the dashboard. So make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Make sure you're clocking in when you're supposed to be clocking in and clocking out when you're supposed to be clocking out. If there is a mistake made, just notify us right away and we'll take care of it. We can go in there and we can fix it. Likewise, if you forget to clock in, let us know and we can take care of it for you. So no need to panic, but we want to make sure everybody's doing the right thing. And I shouldn't have to touch on this, uh, but again, every now and then we may get somebody who slips through the cracks of the interview process and doesn't really fit within the company values. So I do want to touch on time theft. If anybody you're working with, if you know, you notice or suspect that, you know, they're stealing time. Once again, that's not fair to you. Please bring that to our attention. Um, we do audits of our clock in clock outs uh, weekly, as well as our accounts. So we do pay attention. We pay attention to the vehicle reports that we get every day. Um, we know where people are. So again, I, I just don't even want to have to touch on it, but time theft, it is a crime. It's stealing and we will take measures to recoup what is stolen legally. Um, you know, it, it's, it's sad that in today's day and age we have to worry about that, but again, there's always a chance that it may happen. So keep in mind, make sure that we, we're notified if you know, there's any uh, suspected time theft or anything that's going on, um, and just do the right thing. You're here because we think that you can do the right thing, and that's what we're asking of you. So. Um, please do so. If there's an instance where you need more hours, you know, you want to make some more money, talk to your supervisor. You know, we'll make sure that, you know, we're getting you the hours that you need, um, you know, to support your family and to, to be okay financially. So do it the right way. I'm going to touch on uh, safety with chemicals and equipment. So at each account, we have MSDS sheets that are located in the closet. Uh, those will tell you all the specifics about that product and if something were to happen, if you were to get some on your skin or in your eyes, what to do to make sure that you're safe and that uh, you're okay. So, um, with that being said, proper PPE is to be worn at all times. That includes gloves, that includes safety glasses if necessary, that includes a Tyvek suit if necessary. Um, we do have all the proper PPE in the basement and at our facility. So make sure that you have it. If you don't have that or your MSDS sheets on site, make sure you notify your supervisor. Um, review the safety processes that are located in your cookbook. It's a lot of great information. Um, and in addition, your supervisor will review that with you during your on-the-job training. So um, this will be emphasized several times to you. So make sure we're paying attention. Make sure we're working safely. Lift with your legs, um, uh, not your back. If something is too heavy or if you need somebody to help you with it, make sure you ask, okay? There's no embarrassing, no embarrassment, there shouldn't be any embarrassment about it. Ask for help if you need it. So personnel information, 
part of your employee paperwork, we're going to need your email, your phone number, emergency contacts, and we want to make sure all your paperwork is complete. This is our record in the office for you, and we have to keep it on file for a certain period of time. So um, with that being said, you're responsible for keeping your information up to date. Make sure your address is current. If you move, make sure the office is notified because if we're sending you know, a memo or um, you know, if we're sending your check to the wrong address, I, you know, it, we can't help you. I mean, we, we gotta make sure that we have your information 100% updated at all times. And that includes if your employee or if your emergency contact changes as well. So with that being said, I wanna take a couple minutes um, if you have any questions, feel free. I know some of you have been taking notes during the presentation, it's fantastic. Make sure you are asking questions. Again, um, there's no stupid questions. We will make sure that we get an answer for you. Uh, we'll make sure we get you off to a good start and we wish you the best of luck. And I look forward to seeing all your continued success here at DCS. Um, and uh, we look forward to getting you started.